we have come over to Akihabara, which is not too far from where we live, and it is the area of Tokyo that is where all of the nerd stuff is, basically. Electronics and manga and this, you know, the nerd stuff. The center of nerd culture. And there are also a few kebab shops in this neighborhood, and one of them specifically is kind of famous, called Star Kebab. And that is where we have come today, and the reason we have come here is because they do something unique. And the unique thing in the menu actually even says it's the first one in the world, first which one in the world? might be the only one in the world. I don't know. I haven't checked the other kebab shops around here, but it is a mixture of Japanese food and Middle Eastern food. They have taken a kebab and put it inside of nori, so inside of seaweed, like sushi. And <laughs> well, you know what? I also just noticed that there's rice. Oh right? yeah, yeah I didn't think about that. Rice wouldn't be typical of a kebab. I don't know why, but it struck me after I got it. I was like, oh, it's got rice in it. Kitty, it's a, it's a maki. It's, it's, a, it's a sushi roll. So they made like a sushi kebab and, and you put chicken into it, right? Chicken and they had a baharat um, sauce that said it's a little bit spicy. And I, I usually just go with the sauce on the menu that I haven't seen before. This, this place seems a little more, it's interesting because usually these kebab shops have got dudes from the Middle East, people that are from Turkey or something literally yeah. working in them but this is like a Japanese dude working here but his menu seems more like he's actually taking direct inspiration from things in Turkey like there were just things on the menu usually you go there like the, you want the mild sauce or the hot sauce and he had like a bunch of different sauces on the menu and yeah. he's got different things going on that you'd normally don't see on menus at little kebab stands of which there are lots of in Tokyo so uh, yeah this place is just a little unique in that case so you wanna? Well, it definitely know. smells like seaweed, but, for sure. Like, yes, it does. Absolutely. The major smell is like spicy seaweed, which is kind of strange. Mm. Um, I'm gonna have a bite. I see some sauce. And this was either 550. How many yens was it? Five, five fifty. The beef is 600 yen. Like that's a pickle. That's a pickle. Is it a, how is the mixture of, I mean, basically you're looking at the mixture of the meat taste and the sushi. <laughs> I the would sushi say that taste. you kind of can't go wrong with a donor meat. Like when it's on the spit, they just, it, that, that spit works magic. You could put this meat in like everything and it would be fine. The only thing that is weird is that you go to a kebab shop to get that pita. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you're losing that pita for this experience. And I'm trying to decide as a as an eater whether I'm happy about that or not. Can you roll it down a little bit? I want to get into Can the, I roll it down a little like, bit? I, can't, I only have one hand on the camera. I am. <laughs> I don't want to I eat the paper. <laughs> try to roll it down. Or just, you know. This um, is difficult. I want to get a little more into the sauce. I didn't get any pickle action. I didn't I get the, any pickle action either. You know, that first bite of like a burrito or whatever. If you go there, that's going to be ma major pickle action. But on the other side, it's major sauce action. Wow. Well, this I'm is going to be a hard choice. Have you choice. seen how big my bites are? Oh, you're going to do the whole thing? <laughs> I can... Uh, am I allowed to do this? Is this going to get demonetized? I don't know, man. Eating an ice cream cone's not an attractive look. Man sucking on a maki? Mm. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to do it. I thought he was going to get too bashful. How did that go? It's going to be a bit. It won't be a second. Yeah. It's going to be a... Here, I'll take this. It's hard to chew with your hands full. <laughs> um... That was fast. You beard the um really quickly, but you're mm. still chewing. It is. It's fine. But I feel like you're losing some of the impact of the sauce and losing some of the impact of the flavoring on the meat because of all of the rice. You know what I'm saying? Like the rice goes really good with sushi, goes good with fish that doesn't have like a you know explosive flavor it's like a subtle flavor and all of that works together in this case i feel like you're just getting the rice and it's kind of like you're watering down the flavor of everything else that's going on in there hmm. um the seaweed basically it's does, just a it's, holder it's just it's a holder not an overwhelming taste at all and i would say that because it's just a holder and it's not bringing anything to the game i don't feel like it is a good replacement for the pita, which I'm looking forward to having. And yeah, the pita, the pita is bringing the game. And it's got, you Even know, the pita it's a really got, basic flavor. Yeah, and it's not just the flavor of the pita; it's also the texture and everything. There's just something about and the boat of it. I like that it holds boat, all the yeah. stuff and it sogs up the sauce. Like yeah. the rice isn't sogging up the sauce. Yeah. So uh, it's not bad. 
I think that I would recommend coming to this specific stand and just getting like a normal like style kebab or whatever. And if you're interested in trying this because it's the only place you can get it, of course, give it a go. It's not it's not bad by any means. and It's not expensive by any means. The but Baharat sauce is very good. And they have a spicy version as well. This is the non-spicy and it's just got a really good base of flavor. Like it, I would get that next time. I really mm. like that flavor. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The sauce, you're right. I mean, the sauce is good as long as you don't get too much rice. You know it would be interesting to come here, get these, and slice it up and take it to a party. Like, like slice it up and tilt it over like real sushi rolls. The problem is, is I think if this got cold, it would really lose. Yeah, that's true. But, <laughs> I'd be willing would, to risk that on my friends. It would a bunch. Yeah. Um, so I think I think that's my uh, yeah the sauce is good. Usually the kebab sauces at these like kebab places it's almost just like ketchup and like it's just like ketchup and mayonnaise they mix together or something. And I must state that it's hard to find places that put pickles. Mm. Mm. These aren't the right kind of pickles. Oh really? Mm -mm. Like what's wrong with them? Are they sweet or are they? They're more like um. Uh, what do you cut for, not fermented, but um... Pickled? <laughs> it's pickled, but it's a really thick pickle, and it's what you would get on the side of a meal, mm. as opposed to what you would put in a kebab. Like a Japanese Like meal. a kebab, you should have spears of uh, dill pickle. Uh, okay, I what see this what is, mean. it's giving you more of that Japanese twist. Okay. But they, they might put this on kebabs too. Yeah, I don't As know. long as there's a pickle, I'm pretty happy. But I know my differences in my pickles, even though I can't articulate that. <laughs> Know how to judge a pickle. <laughs> so I, I, I don't know if this should be added to our like good list of cheap eat stuff. Like you know what I mean? Like we're making making series about that. Yeah. But I do think kebabs in general should be on that cheap eats thing list. Yes. Because it, it is it is a cheap way to get calories in Japan. But I don't know. This this is it's not a failure, but I'm not enchanted the way that I was kind of hoping I would be. Are you getting it again? Probably wouldn't get another one. We, were, we only ordered one and it's lunchtime. And I was like, okay, we'll get one, we'll make the video, and if we want another one, we'll just get another one. But I don't think I'm, I'm going to opt to get something else, I think. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So I, that I, might answer your I question on our, on our it, how yeah. we feel. Mm. Mm. But we're going to finish this one. I mean, it's good. went back over and we certainly didn't get the uh, maki roll again just because it really wasn't amazing to us. Um, Yo, you said maki roll. That's like a ma that's a roll roll. I said roll roll. <laughs> we did not get the roll roll. Um, we ended up going with a grilled cheese type thing and it calls this hilim over there. I've had hilomi before which is like a really kind of salty cheese when we were in Sweden and this I find kebabs really hard to eat and I always get the chopsticks but I feel like if I eat this with a chopstick on the video I'm only getting a taste of one thing at a time and you should probably get a taste of all of it at the time so this is gonna be difficult <laughs> you need a bigger mouth man and we've seen that you are the champion of that that's a great shot mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, beautiful <laughs> do you have a napkin <laughs> Bam! Planning ahead, good job. Any read on cheese? Uh, it is a salty cheese. It, it's bringing stuff to the game. I feel like the Baharat spicy, which I got the spicy sauce this time. I feel like I still have stuff on my face. Um, I got the spicy one, it doesn't taste that spicy. Seems kind of the same. What are they doing? Did you just mix up the bottles? Are there pickles? I don't see any pickles. Nope, no pickles. Just chicken and cheese, mmm. I did not eat like an adult today, but a pigeon benefited from me dropping the kebab on the ground. It's a win-win, kind of, no, no, I, I did not win. <laughs> Never mind. it's a lose-win. And I think the pigeons have it. Hey, so uh, this video was eight seconds short to properly monetize, so here's eight seconds of video. We hope you enjoyed this kebabtastic video. If you'd like to keep support that... <laughs> I'm not gonna do good at this. We hope you enjoyed this kebabtastic video. If you'd like to support us on Patreon, you should do that. <laughs> <laughs>
couldn't just use that. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still recording? Yeah.